happen in Kenya again. And we will stop it. We support the independence of the judiciary, but ju corrupt judicial officials working with those who vested interests that are benefiting from money stolen from NHIF, who want to perpetuate judicial tyranny and judicial impunity. We will deal with them. We will fight with them. We will not allow them. They will not go far. Mimi nataka ni watangazie mapema. Mimi ni mutu ambaye na amini mahakama. I respect the judiciary. I respect the independence of the judiciary. But I also believe that the judiciary cannot be abused by a few corrupt judicial officials. Imagine ni waulize. Hata wale watu wako mahakamani. Ni waulize. Katiba ya Kenya, Article 43, inasema inalazimu serikali kuprovide housing that is decent to citizens. Inalazimu serikali kuprovide the highest standards of health care. Inalazimu serikali kupanga ajira ya vijana wa Kenya. Katiba ya Kenya. Hawa wa Kenya, mamilioni, walienda kwa debe, wakapigia kura, Manifesto ambayo iko na program ya housing, iko na program ya universal health coverage, iko na program ya ajira ya vijana. Bunge wakaenda wakapitisha budget, iko na mpango ya housing, iko na mpango ya universal health coverage, iko na mpango ya kupanga ajira ya vijana. Ati alafu watu wa chache ambao ni beneficiaries ya ukora wanaenda kotini wanaenda kutaka kusimamisha hiyo kazi yote ati vijana wetu waendelee kuranda randa wasipate ajira ati wa Kenya tusiwapunguzie hawa wenye mapato ya chini kutoka 500 mpaka 300 waendelee kulipa 500 na wao waendelee kuiba hiyo pesa ati wa Kenya waendelee kuishi kwa slums ati wa Kenya wasipate nyumba na hawa hawa ambao wako kotini ni watu wako na medical insurance inalipwa na wa Kenya Wako na magari inalipwa na wakenya. Wako na housing inalipwa na wakenya. Je, huo ni ungwana? Hapana. Hiyo hapana. Our judiciary we respect you but judicial impunity by corrupt judicial officers must stop in Kenya. We will stop it. And whatever it takes, kwa sababu sasa hawa wananchi wanataka kujiuliza. Ile barabara ya ihithe munataka tujenge ama munataka tungoje mpaka judiciary watuambie tujenge. Judiciary wanasema tujenge. Munataka tujenge, nijenge hiyo barabara ama tungoje hawa watu. Tujenge barabara. Wanambogwa. Wewe bwana PS weka pesa ya hiyo barabara tuanze kujenga. <laughs> Ndio. Tuaje kusumbuana kwa sababu the judiciary must be answerable to the must be must submit itself to the constitution and to the people of Kenya. <laughs> Amana magani mimi rais na hawa wabunge wote ambao tumechaguliwa sisi we submit to the people of Kenya we go to elections we are uh, tuna, tunafanyiwa tunapigiwa msasa yule ambaye amekosa anafukuzwa ule mwingine anapatiwa kazi zini kweli sisi wote tuna tunakubaliana so i want to tell all of us those of us who are leaders in the judiciary those of us who are leaders in the executive those of us who are leaders in the legislature we are all subject to the constitution and the people of Kenya are sovereign. Tumekubaliana? Mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa Nyandarwa. Hii program ya housing ambayo itapatia vijana hapa Nyandarwa kazi 1500. Niendelee naye ama ningojee hawa watu watupatie ruhusa? Tuendelee. Ile program ambayo tumepitisha 
iko kwa katiba ya Kenya. Katiba inasema kila mkenya na katiba 